The Scarlets sit mid-table and a win here tonight could really push their hopes to finish within their top four. It's a starting point for them and they need to get that win to stay in touch with the top four teams. A loss, on the other hand, could mean horrible things for the Scarlets as they are really close to falling into that mire that is the bottom half of the competition. It is all to play for today. The Scarlets up against the Newport Gwent Dragons. Let's check out the 2.15s before we get down for the kickoff. And with recent results going the way the Scarlets like them to go, the team has remained pretty much the same. There's not much you'd like to change here when you have such quality throughout the 15. And with no injuries to speak of and fitness worries, a thing of the past with the side, they are consistently keeping up to a very high level. Can they keep the pressure on? Can they take out the Dragons? And will they find themselves going higher up that table as this Welsh heavy international side keeps on the pressure in the Guinness Pro 12? The new Newport Gwent Dragons are a side that many consider to be easy beats of the competition, but this season they are kind of breaking away from that mindset of the squad and still struggling to really get any huge players of notes. They're really making the best of what they have on offer and it'll really be up to the team to come together as a 15 and not rely on the big international names. will be up to like their fly half, Jason Tovey, to really keep this team in control and guide them around the park. Of course, Tom Pridey out on the on the right wing, he will be key, along with Lee Byrne, the fullback. They will be the ones who the Dragons will look to when it comes to attacking Flair. The match is all set to get underway, so if that are out of the way, 15's named. Let's get down to kickoff for this round of the Guinness Pro 12. All set to get this one underway, and it will be the Scarlets to do the kicking off. They're in the red. It is the Newport Gwent Dragons who are in the black and the red. So a bit of confusion straight away about the color of the kits, but there you go, Scarlets in the brighter colored red. As it's a, a short ball going to Fairbrother, and they'll look to play the forward game here, the Dragons, if they are allowed to as well. Short ball beautifully to Carter, just about slipped through. That was an interesting one. Position, staying here with the Dragons as they look to break out through their 22. D, short ball, and Tovey through one and two. Just about gets away with it. The Scarlets looking to compete for the ball as Evans goes short and all oh, that's lost, completely lost it. And it's swung wide very quickly. Here we go, Scott Williams. Oh, he's gone into touch. Unbelievable and ball into touch by the Scarlets. Absolute disaster there as they broke away from the intercept. Here's a quick ball straight out and oh, nearly turned over. But the penalty going to the Dragons as they look to charge upfield. The Scarlets hold them in check as they just about reach the 10 metre line. Evans goes short and Stankovic tries to Bard storm his way through as the Scarlets again competing. Jake Ball at the back looking for possession. Now they go away to Tommy who slips it over the top. That's not bad pass. And Pridey just about slips away. The Scarlets have had no possession of note here at all. There's another short one. Stangovic just about gets away and it's to D. He's a touch isolated and losing the ball. Here we go now. The Scarlets with a chance. They go wide. Priestland. Nice ball up to Tangy Duckenbau. He looks to slip around. But actually taken down. Good defense from the Newport Gwent Dragons. Williams. Priestland. Great ball to Pittman. As Pittman charges into the centers. And just manages to hang on here. Big ball wide. King flies a huge ball. The way to Scott Williams who's miles away from him. Now it's the back, hard running and a beautiful one fly to Shingler. Somehow, oh, he's dropped the ball cold and Fairbrothers come away with it. He's all by himself there, oh, and he's lost it straight away to the Scarlets. Now they got numbers out here. Inside ball, looking for Steinman. Steinman lets him go, gets away. It's a chance. He busts the fullback out of the way and Steinman will score. An absolute brilliant try. 20 minutes in, and he scored an absolute stunner. 
Here's Priestland to add the extras. That's a nice one. 7 0. The Scarlets lead over the Dragons. Kickoff from Tommy. He goes down. And Tangi Gakambao. Beautiful ball to ball. And Jake Ball goes flying upfield. Phenomenal stuff here from the Scarlets as Barkley. Oh, he's lost it. Looked for the kick. Took too long thinking about where it was going to go. And as a result, he's lost that scrum feed here for Evans. I don't know where this has gone. Who's got this ball? Oh, it's gone to the Scarlets. Exceptional scrummaging there. Evans floats it out, and Harry Robinson will get the kicking underway as he smacks this one down towards the 22 of the Dragons. And Lee Byrne returns a favour. That's a good kick. That is a beautiful kick from Lee Byrne. Here's the line out. Oh, messed it up completely. And Nick Cut picks up. And he's driven backwards and gives away a penalty. Here's a shot at goal. Three points on offer. And Tommy does brilliantly. He has slotted the three. Priestland. Gets the match back underway. Quick action here as Brew. Oh, was hammered. Dragons look to secure possession. Just about giving it away. The Scarlets. Hot on attack there at ruck time. Box kick. And straight to touch. Well, why wouldn't you as well? Because really, the Scarlet's line out was dreadful last time. This one's even worse. And once again, Landman has come away with it all, but he's lost it in the ruck. So, Scarlet's have the ball. And they swing and ring and King, looking himself to go away. Gives a short ball to Tuggy Gakambao. Williams, huge pass intercepted from Landman as he flies on through. Cena coming a mile away. Evans slips it. Tommy, good ball. Oh, and D is hammered. Huge tackle from Shingler. And we have a Scarlet's player in the Sinbin as well. I don't know if anyone even noticed, but a yellow card is on the scoreboard as it's a turnover. And Priestland looks to go himself, slipping it back and forth. Pinman, Pinman swinging and shifting, spinning. Oh, goodness me, Pinman. Oh, exceptional play. He was so close. Deserved a try, Pinman. Now it's going back and forth as Harry Robinson looks to go himself. He's held short. What have the Scarlets got up their sleeve here? It's Williams. Oh, big tackle. But big man, Rodri Jones goes straight through. And that is a try for the collection. The big tight head prop with a beautiful finish on the angle. Beautiful play to set him up. And Rich Priestland nails the extra two. It is 14 to 3. The Scarlets over the Dragons. Shingler gets his kicking game on and he smashes this one up towards the 22. Lee Byrne again looks to return the favour but I'm sure the Scarlets have no interest in playing this out as half time has gone. It is 14 to 3 in favour of the Scarlets. Look at that Jones the big tight head prop getting the try. That was a beautiful try as well as the Scarlets are seemingly outplaying their opponents here so far in this match. A penalty is all that the Newport Gwent Dragons have to say for their first 40 minutes. But they have been persistent in attack. They have been dedicated. And, well, they've held out the Scarlets quite well so far. One of the tries was very opportunistic. The second was just extremely well worked by the big man running a beautiful line. It is still game on. A try to the Dragons after half time. If they score next... It could be very much game on as they could make their way up to just within a scoring play of the Scarlets. The second half is where it all is and we'll be down for the action in just a second. The Dragons will resume this match and it goes down to Pittman who really should have scored a try not long before half time. He was just absolutely flying. Now here's Byrne. Big kick here from Lee Byrne. And running back there waiting for it is Liam Williams. Oh, he's thrown this to no one. Absolutely mind explosion stuff. Now he'll run it back and he goes straight into Byrne. Wow, what was he thinking there? 
Now it slides back to Ken Owens. Oh, he slips through one. Looks to go through another. Can't do so, and he's put down nicely. Now they'll look to play it out. Nice running. Some space and some room for Scott Williams. Gives it to Tungi Gilkenbao. And he's running away over the 10 metre line. 50. Oh, it's a clean run for Michael Tungi Gilkenbao. He is going in for the third try. And the Scarlets look to push their enthusiasm even closer. What an absolute stunner of a try from Tungi Gilkenbao. As Preeson has absolutely messed up that kick. And dribbles it just along the field just a couple of metres. Back to halfway, seven minutes into the second half. And a dreadful pass there from the try scorer. And Preeson has to pick that up. Just about costs his side the possession. Oh, massive tackle on Williams. He got absolutely dumped. Now here's Tuggy Guckenbau again. Looks to go himself. He's very close to the touchline as he kicks this one across field. Williams is giving chase. Not bad either. Forces Tommy into the kick. And it's out on the fall. Well, well, well. Big mistake there as the Dragons look to push their way into the mansion of a horrible line out. And it's ball back for the Dragons. Oh, look at this. Brew goes through one half tackle. Found himself some room to go up over halfway. Good work there from the winger. Now slips out and Tommy goes quick offload to Powell. That's a beautiful ball to Purdy. And he goes pretty straight through and loses the ball. Pittman offloads quickly. This is a chance here for the Scarlets. Man on, one on one, all intercepted. Andy Powell, great work from the big number eight. Now they slip it wide. Landman looks to go infield. Fair brother. Oh, he's isolated, but though, Dragons. Get numbers coming in quickly. Quickly recycled as well as Priney. Oh, slips it beautifully. And oh, it's gone wayward. And there's a chance for Regan King. Oh, big tackle on Scott Williams as well. So mistake there from the Dragons. And the Scarlets will look to consolidate here. As pass and advantage is going here to the Scarlets. As here is a big man. Already got one try to his name. Looking for another. It's still advantage with the Scarlets. Oh, and short ball to Harry Robinson. Stops and found beautifully. Scott Williams looking to bust. Great tackle from Lee Byrne at the back. His advantage is still going here as Williams slides it all. Picked up and hammered. Barclay. And offside, we will go back for the penalty. And what's the call going to be for Scarlett? It's called for a shot at goal. Well, this is ambitious to say the least here. It'll be Priestland. Steps up. Hits it. It's on target. Got the legs. No. It is a good 10 metres or so short. And Byrne will pick this up and will thump it. No one at home back there at all. Into touch. And another line out here for the Scarlets as it goes to the front and stolen again. Oh, dreadful line out taking at the moment from the Scarlets. Evans. Quick plays it down the short side. Back and field it goes to Cud. And Cud sober it all just taken. Snyman with a great tackle at the end there. Just holding him short of getting away. Again, Evans floats it out. Here's a chance for an intercept. But Pride, he gets it in there and just cakes it away. And his advantage as well going the way of the Dragons. Evans. We had a toppy and we always oh, knocked that on. So we'll go back to the scrum feed for the offside. And this is good work here from the Dragons. They will secure this ball quickly. And they swing it out. Tommy quickly goes. Dixon. First time we've seen much from him is Morgan. Gets away from one. Beautiful work. He's away from another. And he's in. Oh, a beautiful from Tyler Morgan. The Dragons are back in this game. And expect this conversion to go over. Great work. It is 19-10. We have game on here. There is just seven, oh, seven minutes to go. There's all oh, a dominant tackle there from Ball. And Scarlet, the Scarlets look to get position back on their side. They want another try. They've got three. And why not as well as here's Morgan again. Haven't seen anything from him all day. And then he pulls out two exceptional runs. This time he's lost the ball. The Scarlets looking around the corner here. Trying to pop the way through, but... 
taken down is Samson Lee, who's been very strong tonight. Williams, oh, intercepted! And away comes Brady again! He has been one of the best players in a dragon strike tonight. They are going to hold on to this ball. Now they look wide. They want a bonus point. Oh, nearly an intercept, but Landman gets away. Now there's an intercept, and it is Jake Ball. The Scarlet's all oh, big tackle, but he gets the ball away to Priestland, who nearly slithers through like a slimy snake. Williams, full time is gone as a slip back to Tayagakumbau, and he's hammered. Big tackle coming in on him. He's been elusive tonight as well. Pass, no one at home, and it's picked up. Tui again, but he's isolated and loses the ball again as well. Out wide, big pass, Robinson, no one home. Dragons defence is equal to that task of one-on-one. Oh, there's a chance for Barclay as he's hammered as well. Big tackles coming in from both sides as the time has completely run out. Here's Jones, oh, nearly sliding through again. Gaps are appearing here in the Dragons defence is wide. And it's Scott Williams offloads in the tackle. Looking to keep this alive. It's turnover. Now we go back with the Dragons. As they look for another try to get themselves a bonus point. How long will this go on? Where well, goes Morgan. He's been very destructive. Intercepted though. And look out. It's taking Akinbao again. He's running away. Over the 22. And the 5. It's a try. It's a bonus point. And Scarlets get the final say. Very good try. Tangi Gakenbau has scored two exceptional tries tonight. And this will finish this match off a four try bonus point. 26 points to 10. A lot closer than the Scarlets would have liked. That last minute try really sealed the deal. But at just 19 10, it could have been all oh, so different as that 80th minute ticked over. The Dragons. They only got that one try in the second half, but that game was close enough that the things like getting the momentum forward and confidence from scoring and getting close to the Scarlet scoreline, that would have given them a great immense amo- uh, amount of momentum and really pushed them forward. How good was Pridey? He was exceptional, but Morgan, goodness gracious me, the outside centre was phenomenal in that second half for the Dragons. Single-handedly scored an absolute peach of a try that really got their tails up and could have been the real goer for the Dragons if they could have pushed on. In the end, the Scarlets got the job done. They pushed forward, scored four tries, got the bonus point, and that's about as professional as you would expect from the Scarlets tonight. Tuggy Guckenbau got two tries as well. He was very good, very fast. Runaway tries, no defense. And, well, that's really his area of expertise, is it not? A win today for the Scarlets. They take full maximum points from tonight's match. And let's see how that affects it. That's what they needed as well because they were really close. Dropping some points could have seen them fall considerably down the ladder. So let's check out where they sit now after this round of the Guinness Pro 12. Well, who saw this coming? To be completely fair, I did not think that this would be the result after this round five match. The two teams that just played each other are one and two on the table. Newport Queen Dragons have slipped down and they sit second after losing to the Scarlets. So like we said at the start of tonight's match, it is super important for the Scarlets because they're about sixth and they would have been on 13 points, which when you got, you know, 10th places on nine, That's just one bonus point went away from being overtaken, leapfrogged, as they call it. But as a result, it's gone the other way. They got a five-point bonus point win, which is huge. And they have passed the Newport Newport Queen Dragons. But it is far from safe yet when you look at this table. Fourth place, Edinburgh, 17 points. Just one point adrift. And then we have Glasgow on 14 and 13. So still... You know, the top six teams are within touch of each other, which means that you cannot let any points slip in this competition to date, still after just five rounds. Next up, it is a big one. It is Munster who sit third on 17 points. Now, this one could be interesting because, you know, just like 
tonight's match, either side could have won and either side could have been sitting top of the table. So once again, Munster, if they're going to win here over the Scarlets, it could be very interesting for them if they could go up to possibly 19, 20, 21 points or something, depending on the result, a bonus point even for them. Their possibilities are endless for Munster if they get a big win over the number one place side at the moment. That is the Scarlets, and that is my time for today. So thank you for tuning in and watching. Hope you're enjoying this. These two series of Rugby 15, I know it's not a super popular game with everyone, but fully updated teams, and good to get some exposure out there for these competitions and for the game as well. For anyone who's considering buying it, I realise that it is not long released over in the UK and some other parts of the world as well. So if you're thinking of buying it, watch these videos, check them out, see what you think. And let me know, of course, what you think of the game as well. So thank you all for tuning in and I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.